Alrighty, YouTube, welcome back. Last time you saw me, we tied up a couple loose ends, that being the exhaust manifold, relocating the turbo, the valve cover, the drive shaft, and the clutch. All super important pieces to get this build moving along. And now that we have one half of the manifolds actually sorted out, it's time to focus on the second half of the manifold situation, which would be the intake. Now, I kind of brought up some ideas at the end of the last video. One of them was, one of which was attempting to use a set of these tune port fuel injection runners, but making them fit would be extremely difficult to actually utilize the studs and whatnot. And this is gonna take me way more time and frustration than I care to involve myself with this year. Although having a tune port plenum hide up in here would be pretty neat. Although it would make the one side of this engine pretty busy. So I think we're gonna scrap that idea. What I wanna do instead, which I believe I made mention of, is just making a simple tube manifold to fit in here that I can mount my uh, throttle body on top of be it in the middle here or somewhere forward, I don't know yet. We need to get something to start with. Uh, for that, I'm gonna try to build it out of this tube. I think the 90s will have enough radius to sneak just through here to make one nice two and a half inch log type manifold. And then I can build a little box to set the throttle body on top of. And for this season, I think I'm just gonna keep it throttle body injected like the factory 2.5 was just for simplicity's sake. The factory computer with the tune I had in it before should run this engine without many problems. I'm gonna cut right here to start and I'll probably keep the legs the same length. Not very straight, oh well. That is kind of the general idea here. I was kind of hoping it would sit a little more centered. I could probably have this come down at a little bit of an angle. Squeeze this so it more closely matches here. It's not gonna be the prettiest thing in the universe either. It's also super thin, but it's what we got to work with. It'll make bolting it on interesting, that's for damn sure. It's gonna be actually kinda <laughs> really ugly. I do also need to make some flanges to bolt onto these guys. That's what this 3 8 plate is sitting here for. In the same matter of this intermediate plate, I can make this the size of the tube so that the ports are overlapped a bit and then die grind them out. So I guess really, yeah, I should probably make some flanges first and then start with that. First, I need some templates of the two spots. Slide onto there nicely. Now I have a semi-accurate pattern of the ports for this flange. With this, I can now take it and compare it to my piece of two and a half inch pipe, which I'm pretty sure isn't even gonna line up close. I might be able to squish this too to oval it. Yeah, here's, a, here's another piece of mild two and a half inch pipe. And when you oval it out, it does get way better coverage of, of those ports. There. I can cut my two and a half inch hole, weld the pipe to it, and then from the other side, port match it a little better, and we should be pretty good. Okay, there's one. Look at that cute little guy. Okay, the width is okay, but they're definitely gonna need some modification. I'm gonna go drill out these holes, and then I gave the plasma cutter back to my dad, so I'm gonna take him to his place and I'll cut the holes out rough and I'll come back. <laughs> I thought I had my camera recording when I drilled these holes. Not like it's a big deal, it's just holes, but I don't remember which side of this was top now. Oop. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah, it is a little bit of a tight fit though, holy. Yeah, the manifold is just it's designed slightly different. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, the width doesn't fit though, god damn it. Okay, maybe I should have made these at a quarter inch. I'm gonna sort out the fitment issues. I'm gonna take these to plasma cut the holes and I'll be back. Hey, check this out. Just got back from my dad's place with the plasma cutter and we got a nice hole cut in here now. I cut this pretty much as close as I could. With just a little bit of grinding, a squished two and a half inch pipe should be able to slide right into that hole and then it'll give me a nice base to start welding to. As for how it looks on the engine, it doesn't flow with the ports perfectly. I do have the option now to grind the intermediate plate and the flange to match each other a little better. And for this year, it'll be good enough. I'm gonna shrink the width of both of them just a little bit, round off all the corners, and she'll be mint. Okay, I went ahead and did the second one off camera. Look how close those are, man. Wow. I'm just gonna do this to get some uh, extra clearance to the studs when you put them on, that's all. I need a proper countersink bit for this, really. Okay, yes. 
That fitment is great. That gives us a good base to start building the intake manifold off of. And as if I haven't done enough work in the vise today, I'm gonna grind these out until I can get that smushed down pipe to fit in here. Die grinding steel is my favorite. I am now a magnetic porcupine. That fit is actually, oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, all right, well that turned out way better than I was expecting. This one's a little, ooh. Ooh, that one's kind of junk. Bolt these on and make an intake manifold now. So this was the piece of two and a half inch U that I cut out. I guess I should probably squish to fit that. <laughs> Might be a little bit aggressive, but oh well. All right, the, uh, the struggle with what I'm trying to do here is now showing itself a little more. It might be hard to see on camera. Actually, you probably can't, but uh, where I have this hole cut and this manifold are almost dead in line with each other, which means making this come on and off of here with a pipe on it is going to be very hard. Because, yeah, that, uh, that's nightmarish. I also need to trim this down to angle the pipe up like this in order to clear it through here properly, which is going to suck. It's not impossible. Good lord, this is going to suck. I'm going to go start with cutting a little bit off of this pipe first. And I cut too much off. God damn it. Damn it, dude. Why did I mess that up so bad? Yeah, I tacked this in place just to see how badly it fits. I tell you, this nut's not coming off. I just I don't know what else I'm gonna do for an intake. No, the nut does come off. This thing, on the other hand. I didn't think so. Okay, I may be stubborn, but at least I know when to admit defeat. I don't wanna make this work. This is... This is disgusting. This is ugly. And admitting defeat in this case means starting all over again. I cut some more Play-Doh. This is quarter inch. And I found these from a previous project. It's going to be a little bit more welding, but these are about the size of one of those ports. The 90, I can have them come up into just a straight log manifold, which is going to be kind of ugly. But guess what? It'll get me running. I'm gonna go turn these into these, but I'm gonna leave the centers blank and we will go from there and hopefully this ends up better. Okay, those fit very nicely. I am gonna cut these studs actually now that I'm looking at them. I could cut like three eighths of an inch off of most of them. And I'm gonna go take a, a uh, more accurate template of the ports. I believe two of these will fit right between those studs. Yeah, I should have done this first. Man, that fits so much better. Can I make this without screwing it up royally again? Because if that was mid-height on that flange, I could probably get that in and out. Probably could too, even without cutting the studs. Okay, I think we're onto something here. Hang on, I know how to get an accurate port measurement to this. Cardboard templates work, but if you can just take your measurement directly, why not? Uh -huh. See, this is... Why don't I just do things the easy way? I can just draw the damn ports out. Man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> It'll be way easier, man. Well, I'm feeling a little better about this one now. <laughs> Look at me doing stuff the smart way. And now what I can do here, compare my tubes to where those ports are. Don't line up that bad. Why didn't I do this from the beginning, man? I am going to set this to the higher part of the port just to give me clearance to the manifold as well. And guess what? I can hole saw these out and the, the fit will be perfect. It'll drop right in. God, why did I do this to begin with? <laughs> okay, I didn't draw them exactly the same, but it's close enough. In a perfect world, I'd set my drill press up for this, but I'm not perfect. All right, I hate hole saws. Let's hope this goes smooth. How well did my centering go? Damn, I'm good. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. Should I WD-40 this? I should WD-40 this. Is this bit bent from factory? It is too. Oh, you motherfuckers. I hate hole saws. Ha ha. Okay, all right, we're on to something. That's gonna work so much better. All right, I'm gonna spare you the boredom of doing the rest of these and just go ahead and do them. I suppose I should have center drilled my other one before I made a mess. Man, I hate hole saws. I know a lot of it's probably 
user error, but I just hate hole saws. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, I am a mess lately. Oh, man. One of my holes on this one ended up a little low. Oopsie. At least somewhat similar. You know what? I'm happy with it. I should probably grind these to shape before I do my vinyl fitment and weld up. All right, give me two seconds. Boom, there we go. Two more flanges that look way better than the other ones I was doing. Steel had some nicks in it from a, uh, an angle grinder that I'm gonna have to just weld up and grind. So it doesn't look so stupid. Other than that, we're ready to go see if we can make something out of these. While I'm in the mood for sawing some holes, I also decided to do one that is a two and a half inch plug and you will see why in a little while. Not the normal way I do this, but I don't have anything to mark this with. Ooh, my poor paint. All right, I'm gonna go do the same to these three and I'll be right back. Okay, I might've cut some of those a little bit too short, but it'll at least make my life way easier. Ah, look how much easier that is. I do have a top and a bottom. I drilled the holes closer to one side just to fit the ports a little better. I probably should mark which is which, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Look at that, fantastic. All right, and here is where the magic will hopefully happen. Because all of these guys fit very nicely. These 90s should take us up pretty good. Looking like a set of zoomies. Oh, this is gonna look so dumb. Now, where do I want this to sit? The lower the better. Because I still have to build a box off of this for the TBI to sit on top of. Oh, I'm not gonna have room for all my sensors. Should probably get that TBI in here sooner than later. We'll go just before that curve. Yeah, that's a good sign. Oh my goodness, that is awful. Does this come off? Oh. Thank you. Alrighty, here we are. I'll cut the height. Get nice and low. That'll give me space to mount that. Okay, I gotta mark these before I forget. These need some cleaning up. Cool. I need to notch these, and I'd usually do it with an angle grinder, but actually staring at this, like this is two and a half inches. This is two and a half. It is two and a half. <gasps> oh my God, that's genius. I am a smart one today. See, I've got good ideas every once in a while. It's not perfect, but I mean, come on. All right, so that, that worked way better than I expected it to. So good. It might work. Now I've got to drill some holes and cut this two and a half inch to length. <laughs> that's like perfect, dude. Oh my God, that's so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy after that failure. To put this into perspective, I started that first manifold on Monday of this week. It is now Thursday. Demotivation, I guess you could probably call it because I was just upset with myself over that disgusting failure. Three days late, I know it's been three days, but I, uh, I was just, I wasn't, I was very unhappy with how that turned out. I take pride in what I build, so to have something like this actually work out, it's gonna be kind of ugly once that throttle body sits on here, because it's gonna be like way the hell up here. This is at least something I can be happy with. I now need to mark those tubes so I can drill some holes. Those are in, I, I cut it to length. Look at that a cute little thing. This is kind of ugly. That is the start of a manifold. Apologies for the heater noise. It's, uh, it's getting cold up here in Alberta. Ah, the old stitch weld technique.
All right, I'm gonna go through and weld the rest of this together. The camera's running low on battery, so it might die halfway through this. So, yeah. Okay, so that actually ended up dying literally right as I started welding. I just went through and did everything nicely. In between the runners where I can't really hope to seal that, I just welded on the inside to hopefully get some penetration and hopefully keep that sealed. Uh, I also took it on the belt sander and just trued these up a little bit. And now she fits nice. I had to play around with some of the holes. I opened them up a little bit and kind of beat the flanges around with a hammer. And it's, it's a little tight, but the fit is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna complain about that. That two and a half inch plug that I cut out is gonna be welded right in the front of this guy here. And I can also drill and tap this for pipe thread for vacuum and boost ports as well. I'm gonna discuss something very quickly here about the throttle body placement. The piece I'm gonna be using is a throttle body from a 5.7 Chevy, so just a small block 350. This is the same throttle body that I ran on the old engine. Stock 350 throttle body uses high pressure. I think they're like 24 PSI. Maybe they're more, I can't remember. But they're the high pressure version of the 454 injectors and then the pump in the tank is like a 40 PSI pump from a Spider injection 4.3. Fuel system coming out of this, I was only using about 30% of it maybe 40% of it on the 2.5 at 15 pounds of boost. So this should do perfectly. I had thoughts of mounting it in the middle here, which would work. It clusters all this up. The mounting to this would be strange, especially for the throttle blades. I don't know exactly where I'd, where I'd put the throttle bracket and it'd be so close to the exhaust, it would just get cooked. Here's not feasible either because then the fuel lines are gonna be cooked by the heat and then this is going the wrong direction over this way. This isn't feasible because it's too wide and same for this. So I had thought about putting it up front, but that's also way too cluttered with all this. Um, I also thought about putting it back here, but then still the exhaust is too close. So I've been dealing with the troubles of how to do this for the past two days. It looks stupid. It looks stupid and I'm not gonna be happy with it. So, so hear me out here. Tubes that I cut when I was making the other manifold that I messed up and wasn't happy with. Turns out, tacked together like this, put on the back of this manifold, somehow worked out perfectly that it clears the back of the engine and moves it over here into a nice spot. It doesn't exactly look that appealing. It does flow nicely. Uh, I have plenty of room over here to mount this basically like right here, which does open up the engine bay a little bit and makes it a little more balanced. Having it over here, all my factory fuel injection wiring is all on this side, all the sensors. The throttle cable is meant to run over here anyways. And the boost piping will come down into the intercooler over and just up in versus having to go over and then back. This cleans it up so much. I'm not exactly happy with the way it's gonna be because you can't tell right now, this is my current plan. And of course the fuel now has to travel from here to here to get into the manifold, which, you know, flow and fueling, it's probably gonna idle like garbage, but I don't really care. This makes everything else a lot simpler. I think I'm gonna go with it. For anyone saying it's ugly when it's painted gloss black up in here with a turbo blanket on the turbo and probably the firewall painted black too. I haven't decided that yet. This is gonna look pretty okay. All right, let's let the ugly commence. The good news is that it actually comes off though. So I guess we'll take that as a, as a win. Well, this is just in case for a moment you thought I wasn't building a ship box. And something like this comes into existence. Well, install's already a lot easier than the old one was. Oh, well, and that actually fixed the fitment of this. Okay, you know what, that's not that bad. Even like that's not that bad. I don't like it, but it's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna make a box to mount this on top of that I can attach to this somehow. This is gonna be so ugly, I, I apologize. It's like four and a half inches will cover that pretty good. Will five and a half work? Ooh, that'll just fit too. All right, I'm gonna go cut that out quick. All right, the plate is all cut out and cleaned up. Managed to find a throttle body gasket. Compare where I gotta put this. I don't know what I wanna do. This whole intake has just been depressing. I, 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 yeah, I got nothing, man. Let's just go port fuel injection and be done with it, but I don't have the money for that. Okay, I have the orientation I'm gonna drill these holes in. Why it's offset like this, I will show you in a sec. 
Now we need to hope and pray that this is close enough that these blades open. All right, well, at least that works. The throttle body's gonna bolt on top of this. I'm gonna turn this into a, a little box looking thing. It's gonna be ugly. I told you already, it's gonna be ugly. And then off of that box, I'll make the tube join to go into the rest of that intake. <sighs> it's gonna look so dumb, but whatever. So, the height of this will be perfect. Okay, there's those two. Uh, one of these needs a hole in the middle of it to accept that two and a half inch pipe. Oh, I'm gonna go drill that. You know how much I hate hole saws. Okay, well that actually drilled a little easier than I was expecting. So, this guy is gonna get welded on the back here. This one is gonna get welded onto that. Another piece that will run from up here to the top at a slight angle on the front of it, and then we'll fill in the sides. All right, let's make some ugly magic happen. Is uh, big, dumb, and ugly looking, man. At least now I can show you why the hell it's made this way. When this stupid box is sitting here, there's gonna be a little extension tube, which goes into here. I don't know how long just yet. So that when this is on here, this throttle body, which is backwards, and this is welded in this place here, that I can still <laughs> actuate the throttle with the mount mounted to this pipe. Okay, something like that's pretty good. There, so now I know where that's gotta go so that I can weld it to there, in turn weld it to here so that the throttle body will work and the throttle linkage has room. So I'm gonna go cut this, weld this to this and this to that, and then make some side panels and weld the whole thing up and then be done with it, okay? Okay. Okay, that pipe is now tacked on. I can make a mount for the throttle cable over to that pipe, which will be okay. And she ain't pretty, but she's unique, I'll give it that. Okay, does it come off easily? Wow. Wow. What? What? What is this? This is so disgusting. Like, it looks okay, but like, really? It's so stupid. Whatever, man. Well, it's done. Ah, yeah, that was a, that was a thing of something. It's not beauty. All right, well, final fitment, I guess. Definitely needs a support bracket down to somewhere. It's a little heavy. This needs to be changed or modified or rebuilt again yet, but you get the point. I still have to make a mount for the throttle cable to attach to somewhere. That's not that hard to do. Just gotta make a little support bracket for it. Not very happy with the look of it, but I guess it's fine. I don't know what you guys think. To me, it looks kind of hideous. It kind of flows at least. Maybe once it's painted black, it'll look a little better. It at least keeps some of the clutter from this side of the engine bay over to here. I don't know. I know it'll at least get the truck running this season. And that's the main plan. Cause I want this to drive before it starts snowing. That could be anywhere from now to November time, who knows. If there's a little bit of snow on the ground, I'll still take it out. But that's it for this video. Quite the roller coaster of a video it was. Shame that first manifold didn't end up working very well, mainly to my own fault. Uh, at least I came up with something that should work. I'm not happy with it, but it exists. It'll get the truck running. That's it for now, I hope you enjoyed. Come back for more and thanks for watching.